Yo, what's up, you two? What's up, everybody? And then Bad Wolf, you know, another video that I'm doing for death, y'all. Yeah, thank y'all for supporting my channel. You know, thanks for the support. The, um, you know, the, um, swaps I got now. But, um, so I, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to thank y'all for the support, you know, my channel. And I bring y'all, you know, and I bring, so I will bring y'all more content off, you know, for y'all to watch. But, um, yeah, I was. So, I said thank y'all for support and everything. So, okay. the story I talk about today is the rap group, the Montgomery rap group, the the boys. So, the video, you know, the story it could be about you know the rap group, you know Montgomery called the the boys. So, so yeah, video, you know I'm gonna get to their um their their the life and career. So here we go. Okay, rap group. Cause the rap group, the Doodle Boys is, you know my, you know, you know if I see my grandma. So, the Doodle is basically actually cousins is um Big Pimp and Daniel uh, Thomas born in seventy eight and Mister G Stacko the gangster born in eighty one. Um, I mean known as um Tavares Webster born in eighty one. So, they're from the West Side area of Holland Village neighborhood. Grew up Montgomery. It's rough to where they experience a lot of um things from drug dealing and a lot of um violence. The peer Pip and the gangster try to start their music career by performing in talent show, you know, in um uh, you know, talent shows, you know, around Montgomery and they were very talented. But over the years, Montgomery didn't have a um kinda I said they didn't have a music scene before, but yeah. They had to grind to get to to her and you know, um yeah, I think it's more about uh, how they got to grind to get heard from from somebody from our state, you know, but um, they get noticed. But so about pe um, you know, but um, so back around ninety nine nine, so that was the first album called Country Country First Tile, and back around two thousand and one, they were signed with um Universal Records to where they released the the Pimp. In the gangster, and um, so around 2001, so they released their second album in 2002 called Keep It Pimp and Gangster. Back around 2003, you know, they were signed with um, Robert Lock Records at the time, so they released a, a couple of albums under the uh, uh, label. So things were doing good, but until the record company had decided to release the other boys from the uh, Robert Lock over some, um, you know, over some shady stuff. With the label in the um, so so it felt like the both felt like the label was stealing their money and the beef with the manager at the time that caused you know um a lot of friction. So so their boys kind of fell off, you know, over the years. I saw because the conflict with the label and the um, manager and um things weren't you know like things wasn't you know I still looking good for the um the whole group so. So I think they um had started their own label called Black Cloud on um, um which was featuring you know um a lot of Montgomery artists back in two thousand three you know they released their final album with the um label called Love with the Haters. So I feel like Dirty Boy was the the rap group down here. They made it you know they made it big, but um so I feel like they made it big. Uh, I said the way they put a good. Spotlight on my state, Alabama, and um, I said Montgomery, you know, as a whole, but the city is doing um, somebody city got a lot of robbers down here, you know, someone who rapped back in the day, so um, so, so, so I feel like the, the um, the whole rap group down here started rapping, you know, they made that first um hit song called um, Hit the Flow, yeah, the song was featured on BT a long time ago, back around 2000, and um. Four times three, I think. So, uh, so I feel like they had made their top of um, you know, um, tree mark on the um, the whole, um, the whole state. You know, I feel like my government got a lot of robbers that trying to like blow, but I think the boys had started like blow until things started to happen to the group and things wasn't you know looking the same. But so I feel like the boys, you know, it, it, um. 
So I feel like Dirt Boys in My Eyes is, is the first rap group that made an album of Gummer. You know, it was the first group that made it out was um them and uh, Long Boys. And I did um I mean, I did video about Long Boys a couple of uh, like last year, I think, yeah. You know, about how they was, you know, rapping it, it, it um rapping and it kinda like fell off, but it's, it, so I felt like that boy was the first rap group that made out of, you know, Alabama period. So but, um so I think the whole group's still touring now, or it's still probably like touring, or I think he, uh, I don't know, I think he got, um, I, mean, I believe like one of the group got a job, um, you know, job of trust, I think, but, um, so, so I feel like they pimp basically rapping and he got a job, so I think he's doing both, you know, rapping and he started working, so, so I think that the whole, um, rap group is basically the first um, rap group that came out of my state, you know, I said I love um, Alabama and Montgomery, so, uh, so, uh, so I feel like my whole, the whole, um, you know, basically what I said Montgomery is growing over the years by them, you know, I just put Montgomery on the map for their, you know, um, talent, everything, so, so I appreciate if they do the ball for doing that, you know, put their own, um, force on my, of Montgomery on the map and how he's trying to, you know, rap towards, towards putting their, the whole, basically, so on the map, you know, on how people might want to try rapping, but, so I felt like Dirt Boys, you know, basically the first rap group that I ever, like, heard about them putting it on the whole, see on the map, and how they was on BET, you know, on, on how they started to do things, things better, you know, yeah, I think for, so I believe coming from a small city on my government, it's kind of was my heart to, you know, uh, you know, get get heard, cause it gets you know very much overshadowed by Atlanta, um, Birmingham, uh, uh, I said for um, I believe those those small town or uh, big cities, you know, kind of get overshadowed by um, uh, uh, hold, on, I believe um, small town cities get overshadowed by big cities like Atlanta, um, Memphis. Birmingham, um, Florida, all type of um, places that you know, it kind of shadows the, basically the small town cities like Montgomery. So I feel like the whole um, rap group is basically trying to put Montgomery on the map. So on how they're trying to you know make sure you know everybody you know start to you know basically grow the music business and how they you know should grow by the putting the whole stay on the map, but so I feel like the Dirty Boys, you know, it's the first rap group that ever made it out and they're trying to, you know, trying to expand their their growth throughout the whole city, but so I feel like <laughs> so, uh, so, so I think Montgomery, um, you know, rap group start to grow. Yeah, I say kinda of more slowly over the had died and um yeah, I had people like uh so I feel like people should, you know, yeah, I feel like people who rap, you know, basically Montgomery is basically, you know, basically, uh, I said look at rappers who rap down here. So, yeah, it's kind of about how you got to, you know, have the growth and stuff to be, you know, good time to rap or all these, you know, but so. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to so peace. I'm out here. Take care.